Right, hi everyone, it's chris 2 0 ukh and I'm experimenting with the PiStar mobile dashboard. I put a video up earlier on this and I did put a commentary showing how to set it up but it didn't work because it was a screen capture and it's a different codec that YouTube likes and the audio didn't work. And I was going to leave it up, but I was contacted by a couple of blind people. Um, funnily enough, they were the first people to contact, uh, comment on it. So I've um, done it again, but with an audio description that works. And uh, I'll try and explain it for Glenn and the other station that is uh, blind. So... I'll just describe what we're looking at. We're looking at the Pi Star dashboard, the mobile version. And I'll show you how to set it up in a minute and how to uh, get to it. But if you look at the top, it's your normal IP number. You know, I'm at home. I'm Your phone has got to be on the same wireless network as the Pi Star for this to work. And that applies if you're in the car. So if you're in the car, you're not on Wi-Fi, you can still use this as long as you're on the same network. You have to type in your IP number forward slash mobile. There is a there is a link to get into it. If you don't know the IP number, I'll show you that in the setup as it's written down. But to describe it to Glenn, who can't see properly, um, what we're looking at at the top... It's got the last caller in nice big letters. And up in the top left, there's a button on the blue line. That just, if I'll press that and I'll describe what I can see, it's the status. It shows which modes are enabled, YSF is enabled. And it shows my frequency, the hat type, and what I'm connected to. You can see I'm on. FSC 390 at the bottom there, that's America link. And I'll just tap away from it and there's a button to the right, on the right hand side, I'm talking about these three horizontal lines on the right, so if I tap on that, we can see temperatures and um, host name, kernel, CPU load. It's basically the other stuff you'd see on the left hand side of the normal Pi Star. So going down the page, you can see the last callers, the last people to key up. And at the very bottom of the page, you've got different tabs. This is dashboard. You've got admin. You've got settings. This is all the normal stuff you'd set up in settings. You've got power. So you could reboot the Pi. So not a lot to look at there. Once it's set up, you don't need to bother with all that. But the only other interesting thing is live caller display. And this works properly in landscape mode. I'm recording this in portrait mode, so you won't see it at its best. It won't fit the screen perfectly. But when I show you the characters and the font and that, you can see how nice it would be full screen. Now, this I tried this early and it was a bit too slow to start up. So I've clicked on it at the bottom. So... It's come up, and I'll just describe it for Glenn. There's a blue background, there's a lovely font, looks like dot matrix type character font. And it shows all the normal stuff. Uh, call sign, name, town, country, what channel you're connected to, what talk group, or or room and your error rates internet loss and BER internet loss is self-explanatory BER is RF 
loss. You know, if you had a rubbish aerial on your handheld going into your hotspot, you'd have some loss there. So, that's all there is to show you there. You know, you could do this on a PC if you wanted. I'm not not sure why Glenn is interested if he's uh, if he can't see it properly perhaps he's hoping to zoom in and see it large on a PC if you see it on a PC it's not rendered properly because it's for a mobile it doesn't look very good on a on a PC browser but if you're on a tablet you, you know nice decent sized tablet you could zoom in and uh, it might be a good way for someone with bad eyesight to see the call signs anyway I'm going to show you how I found the page and how you will get it set up. So I'm going to type in, I'm going to a browser here, any old browser, any old search engine. I'm on Google. I'm going to type in Pi Star Mobile. Pi Star Mobile. And the page you want. The page you want is the one at the top, amateurradio.digital hyphen Pistar Mobile. I'll put a link in the description. So I'm clicking on that top one. And that's how it renders landscape, so it looks quite nice. And I'm just going to scroll down. The installation is pretty straightforward. I'd agree with that. It is straightforward if you know what you're doing. But, like I say, you'd open up Pistar, you'd click on Configuration, and then SSH. And that brings up a screen with a, a flashing cursor. And from there, you can enter commands that alter stuff on the uh, Pi. And you've got to log, first of all, log in. So you type in pi dash star and then raspberry. Raspberry, that's the password. That will get you in so you can alter stuff. And you would have to copy and paste one at a time these lines. I'm just going to use my pen on my note to highlight them. This is an old Note 3 that my dad gave me. These are the four lines I'm on about. So you'd copy and paste each of these one at a time. So you'd have a browser open on your PC, you'd copy one line and paste them into Pistar, which would be open in another tab on that browser. So you'd copy it, change the tab, paste it into Pi Star, press enter. You'd come back and you do all four. And I think it's best if you do a, a reset. Um, discard that writing. Do a reset and then it'll be ready to go. And then you've got an option to find the dashboard by typing in your IP number, which will be on your screen if you're out mobile. You can see it on there if you've got a screen. And if you don't have a screen, you go to this mobile portal. This is a web page. It's not, it, it's, it's not a web page, but that's the local address to get into it. And I'll just read it out for Glenn. It's http colon forward slash forward slash pi dash star dot local forward slash mobile. That's all in small letters. And if you click on there, it should take you to the browser. The idea is if you don't have a screen on your hotspot and you don't know your IP number, clicking on that should trigger the dashboard when you're mobile. I'll just click on it. I, don't, it, I haven't got this one to work, so don't rely on this one. Now it's it's inside Facebook, this page, so I'm going to follow the link. I've never got it to work before. So it's best to know your IP number. 
But uh, that's it basically. So you do all that, you go to the IP address, forward slash mobile, there's my normal gateway. Go to the one forward slash mobile. You know, and it's just a nice view. It doesn't show all the unnecessary stuff. Right, 7-3. Thanks for watching. 2-E-0-U-K-H. Uh,